tutorial talking about how to make a shortcut or a macro. Um, I call it a shortcut frequently because that's the terminology that Dragon uses. So uh, let's take an example here. When I'm looking at this, let's say this is a phrase here that uh, I've used many times in the past and I'd like to use it many times in the future. Uh, so what I'm going to do is select this section, turn on my microphone, use the phrase, make that a shortcut. And I'm waiting and the data should come up right here. And uh, I'm going to name this. In this case, I'm going to call this abscess medical decision making. And then if you have a little bit of OCD like I do, you can always use the term cap that, or in other words, capitalize that. Cap that. You can use this section here, uh, which is group. If you wanted to name your own group, uh, for instance, we can call this one smarter chart. Uh, it can save it into that section for you, uh, and then all your particular brands will be saved in one area. And then you just hit save. Before you hit save, though, I recommend real carefully going through this process uh, because what you can do here is automate a mistake. Uh, so I put something on purpose here. Uh, I said no evidence for spepsis. Uh, so if we get rid of that, uh, we know that we've made that correctly. Also, when uh, I've got this here, um, my original statement said that we were going to cover for strep and staph, including MRSA. I mean, culture results. Well, one, we don't always do culture results anymore. And also, uh, we don't necessarily use double agents. Sometimes we're using single agents. So I will say with broad coverage, and then I'm going to put in a variable, which we can talk about more in a different uh, topic, and consider cultures. This variable lets you uh, take the sentence out. Uh, if something's in this place here, uh, usually I like to leave it as a default. So what you might consider doing is putting perform cultures and perform cultures, then you can always get rid of it. But if you get rid of these variable statements later on, uh, then this remains and perform cultures. Uh, otherwise you've got to change it every time if it's somewhat vague. So then I'm gonna hit save then. That's one way that you can make a macro. The other way is uh, if you're going to select all this process here and then hit copy, so you can right click this and hit copy. The shortcut for that is the control key and C. Then you're going to go to your command browser here under tools. Once you've got your commands open, you can go to my commands, new, and the same box pops open. This time, however, if you click in here, you're just going to paste that control V or you can right click and hit paste here. So again, you name this whatever you want. And then uh, again, you can put this into your smarter chart field. Um, if you're saying something that's challenging, uh, you may want to train it. So you'd hit here, train, hit go whatever you want, and then hit done when you're done training it. Uh, that'll help it recognize it. Now, I really strongly encourage you when you're naming these things, be careful. You don't want to call it something like back pain. If you call it back pain, every time you say back pain, this entire macro is going to come up. So at the end, I like to put uh, something that I don't usually say. An example would be macro. Uh, when I'm making templates for other people, I'll put something in like Scooby-Doo, mostly because it's funny. I'll put something in like Scooby-Doo, mostly because it's funny to hear people saying back pain Scooby-Doo when they're charting in their own room. And at that point, you hit save. And you can see under smart chart, here's all the different uh, things that we've made. If you want to delete one of these, you can right click and hit delete. And then if you want to edit it, you just double click it. And then here it comes again. Now I don't want to call this back pain Scooby-Doo. I'm going to call this abscess Scooby-Doo. 
and then you hit save. Once again, the way that you find that is from Tools, Command Browser. So the next time that you're charting, you can simply use that phrase that you just created. In this case, we'll say, Abscess Scooby-Doo. And it comes out that way. Uh, we've prevented some of the common mistakes you can make if you had to type this out each and every time. One last thing that uh, I want to go over when you're making a macro. If we look at this process, just opening up the standard uh, template that we've made, usually this is how I like to do it. Sometimes at the very end, what I'll do is I'll put a return in there. And uh, you can do that once or twice. And the reason I like to do that is if I didn't, and I did a, a, a macro phrase one right after the other, it would just come up as one phrase rather than two separate paragraphs. And that's pretty much it on macros. Thanks for coming to Smarter Chart, and we'll see you next time.